Alexis? And Vicky, among the crowd in the packed room today for the consent decree announcement was Tamika Palmer, Breonna Taylor's mother. She's yet to miss any significant moment in the aftermath of her daughter's death, and she was right in the center for this one regarding police reform. I pray and pray some more that we are going to move forward, that we are not going to continue to lose lives. Breonna Taylor's tragic killing at the hands of LMPD in 2020 sparked the civil rights investigation by the Department of Justice into Louisville Police and Metro Government. Thousands of people marched and gathered downtown for months here in the city. They called for racial justice and accountability. The 26-year-old's death and the mistreatment of protesters who rallied against it was among several examples of LMPD's unlawful and unconstitutional practices detailed by the DOJ last year in a scathing report. Tamika Palmer, Taylor's mother, has been front row for all major announcements involving LMPD as she continues her fight for her daughter, including Thursday when the city announced the signing of the consent decree. We have a history of putting things on paper and not moving the needle, so we have to stay on top of the situation and definitely make sure that they are doing just what they say that they are doing. The 242 page agreement, which the city expects to be under for the next five years or less, is meant to be a roadmap to reform for the city from fair policing to rebuilding community trust. But Palmer, like many, do not want to simply hear the possibility for change. They want to see it. Action. I mean, action. People keep we've been talking for since 2020. And again, some things have happened very slowly, some not at all. Um, so we definitely have to see action. Palmer was honest about her reservation when asked about the future of the department's transformation, accountability, and her confidence in LMPD to unlearn decades of discriminatory patterns. My daughter lost her life That's to get here, so mm -hmm. I'm not very confident. I'm here for it, though. I'm here to watch it. I'm here to move along. I'm hopeful. We shall see. And this finalized consent decree also comes on the heels of Brett Hankison's conviction in federal court. The fired LMPD officer was found guilty of violating Taylor's civil rights the night she was killed. His attorneys are appealing that verdict. In studio, I'm Alexis Matthews, WLKY News. Thank you.